Hello, YouTube family. Welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi LeClaire, and let's jump right into this video, okay? So as you can already tell from the description below, we're going to be talking about tips and tricks of how I passed the pre-NLN exam. I want to tell you guys exactly what I think you all should do, starting with studying more than three weeks in advance okay i feel like giving yourself a max of three weeks prior to the test gives you enough time to really uh sink in all the information if you're anything like me you got the test and you're like okay i feel comfortable with the word knowledge and verbal and grammar and math but science whew, it's a whole review it's a lot of information and i would not knock that you know i wouldn't knock that and put it put it past you because it is a lot of information and if you don't know it off the top um you're going to struggle if you don't study you're going to struggle so step two um if you're anything like me like i mentioned before and you feel good about the math and and uh grammar skip straight to focusing on science that's exactly what i did now even though I studied science a majority of the time, don't forget to go back and, especially to the word knowledge portion, and make sure that you know those vocabulary words, okay? Oh, I meant to mention this book right here, National League of Nursing Review Guide for RM Pre-Entrance Exam. This, oh my goodness, this book helps so much. And as a matter of fact, I don't need it anymore since I passed my pre nln exam. So message me, shoot, I'll give it to you for $10, okay? So message me about that. If you don't mind, like it's a little written in, I like to read and underline and everything like that, but it's pretty much good to go. Still got all the information that you need to do well on the exam, okay? Next thing, don't think you may need to know a certain portion more than the other it's all important that's why I'm telling you guys give yourself more than enough time so you're not stressed with all this information overload basically so um, yeah what you may think is unimportant will show up on the test so do yourself some justice give yourself enough time and make sure to thoroughly go over everything in this science portion in this book okay and I think it's only about four or five pages long uh, so you guys got it. Trust me. You got it. Okay. What's next? Okay. So this is what showed up on my exam as far as the science portion. You need to know the I. You need to know the difference between DNA and RNA. Dependent and independent variables need to know that. The brain and its function need to know that. Endocrine glands and functions need to know that. Ear function need to know that. Velocity, speed need to know that. Boyle's law, Charles law need to know that. Pitch and loudness. I saw that very often. So, and that's just a few, that's a handful, you know, and there's a lot of questions. Um, so, and I'll put the, the breakdown of the test in the description below, but that, those are what I can remember. And I took the test a few weeks ago, but that is what I can remember off the top of my head that we're definitely on there. Also put, I used to play sports back in the day and um, we will always say, do it right, you do it light, okay? Don't go in thinking, being overconfident. Really grind, really put in the hours to know this information. You're super smart. You wanna become a nurse, you're going to become a nurse. You can do it. You just have to put in the hours, okay? So if you do it right the first time, it's gonna be, your, your hard work's gonna pay off. But if you play around with this test, you're gonna end up retaking it. If, it, if your situation's anything like mine, I only have one shot. The, the timing of it, uh, they were like, you can only take it once. And I think if you take it, you had like, if you failed, you would have to take it in the next six months, some, something crazy like that. But I literally had one shot. And what I did in that month and a half, I studied and studied and studied. I know everyone this isn't a full-time student. People have kids, people have, you know, full-time jobs. They got, you got other responsibilities but you can work around it. After work, put in those hours. Wake up early, put in those hours. If anything, at least make sure to study at least once every day, okay? You can do it. Um, again, uh, message me on Instagram if you're interested in the book that I have, because that book really helped me. Um, I practice tests in the book several times over and over again till I really understood it, till I really got it to where I saw, when I saw the question, I knew the answer. Um, some of these questions even showed up 
on the test. So I'm telling you, this book is spot on. It's it leads you to success, definitely. Okay, I'm looking at my notes, y'all, but I definitely wanted to end on an encouraging note. I want you all to do well. We're all gonna become great registered nurses. If this is your true passion, you're gonna do well, okay? Don't stress the test too much. Um, it's You put in the work, it's gonna show, okay? Don't get nervous. I just wanna encourage you, you're gonna do great, okay? Ooh, I also wanted to tell you all, um, I found my book on Poshmark, and I got it for around $10. I don't know if someone's else is selling their book on Poshmark. There's um, sites like Macari, uh, sites like Amazon, eBay. You can find this book, okay? I don't think they have it in Walmart, um, but you can check, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, comment down below if there's any um, study sources that you all use to help you pass the test. Put down below um, if you're interested in the book put down below uh, if there are any vocabulary words that you think that I should um, that I saw on my test that you would like me to put in the description I have no problem with that um, but yeah let me know how I can help you guys let me know if you guys want to know any more information I also took the HESI test also about a couple of months ago and I passed that as well I did well so just let me know I'm here for you all have a great day okay Peace. Hope you all do well.